And welcome to your gold market update charts for the day for today, the 11th of October 2023. And I'm delighted to be with you as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Let's check out what's happening across the newswires today, and then we'll have a look at a couple of charts at Core RI. We saw a positive session overnight in the US, though it was off the highs of the session, dropped down around about the middle of the day, uh, but then sort of bounced around in a tight range. Treasury yields continue to ease, which is good. It's sending the US dollar down again. But there is potential market moving data over the next couple of days. Worth keeping an eye out for. And of course, earnings season in the US starts imminently with some of the big banks reporting on Friday. US futures are trading near neutral in Asian trading within a fairly tight range. And Asian markets are generally up following that US lead and following through on yesterday's recovery gains. The ASX is up towards the highs of the session, around about 0.6% at this stage. The VIX has dropped below the 200 EMA, fell again overnight. But European futures are pointing to a cautious open at this stage. As we've already referenced, the US dollar fell and is testing short-term support. But we did see a pause in commodities despite that USD weakness. So gold, copper and oil all paused after significant moves up the previous day. Bitcoin is still trading around resistance at 27,800. And the IMF meeting continues. In terms of data, we've got German CPI out this afternoon, US PPI out an hour before the equity market opened, and FOMC minutes later during the middle of the night. US CPI is obviously the headline act of the week. That's out tomorrow. And the Middle East situation will also be watched for any further escalation of what already is a dreadful situation. A couple of charts that we thought were interesting today. Autrium Limited, ticket code ALU, had a really big gap up subsequent to earnings back in August. Then we had this fairly significant pullback, as is most of this sector. Now we've got a V-shaped bounce, which has taken us back up to 43.35. Uh, interesting level, we think. Not only was this the point of entry subsequent to those earnings, but also was a pause uh, during the middle part of September before we got this final move to the downside. So we like this level and suggest that the upside on this is not insignificant. We could see this up in the medium term to around about this 45.75 level. You can see there's quite a lot of price action around that before. Uh, and that would represent a move higher of around about 5%. But because this company is so fundamentally strong, we wouldn't be surprised to see it long term retesting those highs of around about 49. In the FX world, the GB pound US dollar is worth keeping an eye on. This stage, we're just pulling back a little bit. You can see it on the four hour chart, we've got this long term double bottom. Uh, but we have had some buying coming into it in the last few days with that USD weakness. If we just pop it on a 30 minute chart, you can see there it's just now trading within a really tight range with that 123 round number in sight. So very much an uptrend in respect of which time frame you look at. If we should breach this, there is plenty of upside in this, possibly back towards this 123.60 level. So possibly 60 pips or so to the upside. So one worth keeping an eye on maybe this afternoon after European market open. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye bye for now.